Aliens are real and it's too darn hot. In short, it's a terrifying time to be alive. But here are five science news stories on Nautilus.com that will make you feel better about our world. Researcher, therapist, and dream engineer Michelle Carr works with people who have recurring nightmares by using cognitive behavioral therapy to help them rewrite their dreams. Freddy Krueger versus scientist, my money's on the scientist. Neuron stars, formed when a massive star collapses, have been helping scientists learn about our universe. They can alert us to space-time disturbances, teach us about element formation, and even unlock the secrets of how gravity and particle physics work. But even neuron stars cannot help scientists reveal KFC's secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. Indigenous cultures in Oaxaca have done wonders through conservation efforts to preserve and maintain sustainable agricultural, farming, and forestry practices. And its impact on the area's biodiversity may just be a key component to saving the population of Oaxacan cloud forest tree frogs. This article is truly riveting. 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 Studies have shown that the rhythmic flow of poetry can positively impact your resting heart rate variability and cardiorespiratory synchronization. These correlate with mental health, well-being, and long-term resilience to stressors and trauma. Roses are red, violets are blue. Thank God poems don't have to rhyme because I have no idea how to rhyme cardiorespiratory synchronization. And finally, Gorongosa National Park has become a gathering place for researchers from around the planet. A living lab to understand ecological and ecosystem restoration after the devastation of war. It's a bit like how New York City is a melting pot, except somehow this national park has less scattered feces.